Welcome to Oracle Apex tutorial. In the last tutorial, we have learned how to create workspace in Oracle Apex. Today, I'm going to show you how to create application under workspace. Now, we are in a blank workspace. In right hand side, you are watching some zeros because we don't have any application or tables yet. Now, we are going to create a simple application under this workspace. To create an application, we have to create a table first. Now we are going to create a table name products consist of three columns product ID, product name, and product type. And later on, I will create an inventory application with this product table. With this inventory application, I will show you how to insert data, how to delete or update data. To create table, click on tables here and then table. Type table name here, and here is column names and data types. So I am typing table name product. First column name is product ID. Then product name and product type product ID data type should be number and product name and product type both will be work at two because both are text type SQL is uh, 50 character and 30 character. Go to next page. This page for primary key generation. Select not populated because we are going to create a primary key that will not generate uh, sequential value. Type in a name for primary key constraint name. We are keeping it. Select primary key column. It's product ID and go to next. Foreign key is required for making relationship between tables. Now we have only one table in this application, so we do not need it. Go to next page. Constant is not required for us, so we are going next. This wizard has generated a table creation statement. You can also create a table using SQL statement in Apex, but it is a beginner's course, so we will do everything with wizard or graphical tools. Finally, click on create table. And here is our products table and the columns under products tables here. Product ID is no, uh, nullable no. That's meant we have to type something in this column. Product name should also be nullable no. So we are going to modify it. To modify it, go to modify column. Select column name, product name, and select null level, not null, and go to next, finish. Now product name is null level no, that means we have to type product ID and product name while inserting or updating any data to this table. Let's input some data. Here you can see registered. That means uh, product ID and product name is mandatory field. We're typing one for product ID and product name is computer. Product type is not mandatory, but we are, we are typing here. It is a laptop create 
So we have successfully created a table called products and inserted one row in it. Now we are going to App Builder to create an application. Click Create, New Application, give an application name. It is inventory. Here you can uh, change the appearance of this application. By default, it is Vita. We are selecting Vita Red and side menu and top menu. We are selecting side menu. You can change application icon here. Choose right application icon and click save. Application must have page to show data. We are going to create a report. Give the report name. It is product list. Select an icon for this page. Our application will be table based, so I am selecting product table. To create update delete data, select include forms. It will create a data entry form automatically and tag it with the report. And finally, click on add page. Product list page has been created. You can add features, finally create application. So application inventory is here. You can watching for five pages. This is a product list report and page number three is data entry form for product and a login page. So we are running application. Login to inventory application using workspace username and password. Here is the product list page. You can select it or select it from side menu. Here you are watching the product list report. And this is our first product that we have inserted directly into the table. To create new product, click on create, type product name, and product type, click create. But it is showing an error message, cannot insert null into product ID. Because product ID is a primary key column, and primary key column does not allow null values. But problem is, this form does not have any field for product ID. So we have to edit this form to insert product ID column. So we are going to page designer mode. Now we are in page designer window. It is a little bit uh, complex for beginner. On the left hand side, you are watching some field under items. This, these are the fields for our product data entry form. And first one is invisible. So we need to make it visible. To do it, we have to change its property from right hand side. If I change selection here and left hand side, the right hand side property view also get changed. Select product ID and right hand side under identification, you will see hidden under type property and change it to number field because product ID is a number field. And finally save it. Now go to the product list application, click create, and now you're watching a new field has been inserted 
on top but it is showing wrong label it should be product id we can change it also to so go to page designer again select product id under level menu type product id here save it go to the application again open the create window now you are watching the product id field on top now we can enter the product id product name and product type click create and we successfully added second row we can edit existing row so i am changing laptop to desktop click apply change and that has been changed that's all for today please subscribe to my channel to stay connected and if you have any question please comment below i will try to answer it as soon as possible